You see the shadow of Frontenac still there? It was deleted from the passport, along with the, uh, the famous Van Dues and countless other symbols of Canadiana, of which we are all so proud. Justin Trudeau, of course, would like us to erase our past and cancel our future and replace it with the dystopia that now exists in this country after eight years of his government, where the cost of living is rising faster than at any time in modern memory. Work doesn't pay. Interest rates are rising faster than ever in monetary history. Housing costs have doubled. Crime, chaos, drugs and disorder are common in our streets. And what does he want to do about it? He wants to quadruple the carbon tax to 61 cents a liter. He does this while he jets around the world, while his environment minister goes to Beijing. In China, the country that emits by far the highest greenhouse gases of any country on Earth. He won't be wagging his finger at the leaders in that country. He's too busy wagging his fingers at single mothers back in Canada who have to buy groceries for their kids or working class carpenters who need a pickup truck to do their jobs. And when they do their jobs, work doesn't pay. They earn an extra dollar with clawbacks and taxes. They can lose 80 cents of that dollar. We punish hard work in this country after eight years of Trudeau. You don't bring it home. In fact, increasingly, Canadians do not have a home at all. Housing costs have doubled. Rent has doubled. Mortgage payments have doubled. The cost of a down payment needed to buy a home has doubled. It has been double trouble after eight years of Justin Trudeau. You know, the good news is, Life was not like this in Canada before Justin Trudeau, and it won't be like this after he's gone.